Nature loves curry. It shows you that it loves courage because it will remove obstacles. You make the commitment and nature will respond to that commitment by removing impossible obstacles. Dream the impossible dream and the world will not grind you under. It will lift you up. This is the trick. This is how magic is done. It's done by hurling yourself into the abyss and discovering that it's a feather bed. That did not feel like a feather bed, but it felt good. A couple of months ago, I was having a chat with an older gentleman who I respect greatly. This guy's in his 80s, he's lived a very charmed life. He has become very accomplished. He came from a poor working class background in the north of England, and he worked his way up to become CEO of a major corporation. Once he retired, he worked tirelessly for charity and earned millions of pounds for one particular charity that did things all over the world. But I asked him, I said, if you could have done anything differently, would you? And he said, yes, I would have put myself out there. I would have either been on a stage or presenting something uh, or really used my creativity to gain fulfillment. Now, he wasn't in regret of anything he had done, but he did regret the stuff that he hadn't. And that got me thinking. It also inspired me. So what this is leading up to is, I've just got to take the plunge. I'm sorry if the footage is a bit shaky. I'm cold. So 99 days time, I'm gonna be 50 years old. It's got me thinking about a lot of things. The reality is that I'm probably, at best, halfway through my human lifetime right now. Now, there's many things I've done, but there's also some things that I haven't. And as someone who aims to help other people become unstuck and transform themselves to gain more fulfillment in life, I've realised that there's a few things that I haven't done yet and that I still want to achieve. So you're probably asking, why haven't I done those yet? The answer is fear. Fear of being judged mainly. See, putting yourself out there in any capacity can be very scary. What will people think? Will I look ridiculous? Is this narcissistic? Right now, the thing that scares me the most is this. Talking to a camera and uploading it so anyone else in the world with an internet connection can watch it. It honestly terrifies me. I mean, this isn't normal, talking to a camera and putting it out there in that way. Or maybe it is now. I am tired of people not starting and living their life on one very simple thing, which is they're worried about what other people think. Regardless of what you're trying to accomplish, you've got to tell the world about it. This is now the world. If you're not betting on this, you're finished. If you're not betting on this, 
You're finished. If you're not betting on this, you're finished.